Hello everybody, it's Everall Tool 4 for another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode we defeated Hooktail. And now, as all uh all, as in the previous game, we have an interlude with Peach. Oh great exalted Go Grotus, we brought the princess uh, Peach you ordered, sir. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? I don't have a good voice for him. Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all... Are they x knots or cross knots? Please let me know, guys, what you think. Is it x knots or cross knots? I call them x knots. I don't think I've ever heard anyone call them otherwise, but that's just how I... I don't know. They're not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought Baby Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the Crystal Stars? And he defeated that hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, she had like a robotic voice. I don't know. It was a mustache dude in red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no! <laughs> I see, so you know of this Mario, do you? This fool matters not at all. I know all about him, I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, that's awfully nice of him. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the Crystal Star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. What's that? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus, with that pow, I'm God. Wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. I'm going up there. x not I summon you! You rang, dude? Uh, I mean, sir? You rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus, sir? Grotus, sir? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Go get the shadow sirens over here. Just spend an episode giving everyone my best attempt at an Alan Rickman voice. This is Shadow Siren, sir, but they... I don't care how you plan to end the sentence, fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Bedlam. Beldam. Damn it. <laughs> right, so I spent like the first ten years of my life calling her Bedlam because it makes sense, right? Like, that's the kind of name a villain would have, but no, it's Beldam. Beldam. The L's for the D. Beldam. <sighs> I'm gonna make that mistake so much. I was also like, did I get it right? Am I gonna get it right? Nope! We had already have snatched. We already had of it if you snatched her earlier, but now since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario is the man. And I'm, I'm going back to the original voice. It wasn't my fault. Truly, there are too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes. Indeed, that is your duty. May I must I remind you? The planet the map is vital to the excellent plan. 
I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, here be build up. You're like the Pokemon, but with an A instead of you. The sh you Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> if you're not, sir, I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come, we've got a job to do. <laughs> Why do we keep seeing a monitor? Those, like, security cameras? Guess so. Oh dear, here we go again. <laughs> I can't believe I'm kidnapped again! Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again! <laughs> but, hang on a moment, where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Yay, now I get to control Peach and we get her little Peach type music. A nice little place here. Got a little bed and a lamp and a warheads. This is actually really nice. Aside from the fact that we get our own toilet with pink toilet paper, uh, we can actually take a shower. What a lovely shower! No soap scum even! Wow, I wonder if it works. And apparently now Princess Peach just does not have clothes on. Oh. <laughs> How refreshing! I feel like a new princess! Uh, there's no real point to doing that, except for the fact that it changes her ha hairstyle for a very short period of time. But it's adorable! It's so cute, look at that! Instead of just flowing down, she has it like up in a little ponytail. And it's adorable. I mean, come on, guys. That's, that's why you should do it. Unfortunately, going through a doorway resets it somehow. Oh, hey. Hmm? What was that? Hey! How odd, the doors open by themselves. Yeah. I don't know why going through a door breaks the scrunchy or whatever she has in her ponytail, but it does. Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Doesn't work. Hmm. Oh. How do they keep making these doors open? How odd. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How oh, amusing. I'm right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am called Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grote has created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So, I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. Brain the size of a planet. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait. Did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No! Impossible! It can't be! You're a computer! 
What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. <laughs> please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love. What is love? Baby, do not hurt me. Do not hurt me. Anymore. I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love. How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You just feel it. Mm. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing called love? Crazy thing called love. Do do do. Sorry. Teach me how to love. What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? This is one of those stranger sci-fi shows that really shouldn't be covering on a Let's Play channel. Pretty sure that's higher rated than we should have here. Is this Westworld? No, that's something else. I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But, of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. I want to be... a sultan. Wait, no, that's the wrong wish. What, are you insane? You extra kidnapped me like some common Koopas. Uh, and now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha, huh? why should I believe you? I understand you are angry, that emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. <laughs> but I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant you your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give it a shot. She's just going to Twitter and checking her messages and just like posting selfies. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Can you send it? LOL, kidnapped again. Hashtag Princess Peach, hashtag Princess Life. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Crazy. Call love. Do 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 So that's it for her interlude. Do we go back to Mario? No. This reminds me of Mario RPG. I like it. I I forgot about that. It's like that scene. Which would make sense because you know, like this is still supposed to be a spiritual successor series. Anyway, now we're looking at Bowser. Well, you think he would be absent from this adventure? <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Gabby, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? 
Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, Crusty Egg Cameo Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Yeah, so we can draw Bowser now. First of all, look at his stampy little feet. Uh, you can hold B, you can breathe fire. Doesn't really do much right now, but you can talk to everybody. Please, your ghastliness. Greetings, your huffiness. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser getting and seeing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Who? I tell you, look at his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Ah! Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. Look at that beautiful statue. Ah, oh, man, I'm attractive. Every time I look at this, I'm overwhelmed by its coolness. When I take over the world, I'm gonna stick these statues all over the place. Yeah. Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your sterliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, tubby. I like this little, this little holding his arms. Yeah. What's that? Do I even have a less handsome side? Anyway, look at it. I'm perfect. <laughs> this world's mine. These statues can be mandatory in all households. Wow, what a profile though this thing could use a little good dusting. Oh, it looks like this eye is a little loose. Incredible, the statue's eye is a jewel. I got the Bowser jewel. Just kidding. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Hail hey, Lord Bowser! Hail hey, Emperor Scroob! Wait. President Scroob, sorry. Uh, Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Clunk, clunk, clunk. There's a little picture there of... Is that SNES Bowser, maybe? I don't know. Ah, Lord Bowser! It's winded from walking. <sighs> I'm just now returned. I'm sorry, terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. <clears throat> I have destroyed another gate today. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. My Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. You're gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! As well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario's hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure Yes, Mario's gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. Crystal stars, you say? That's the sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them! <laughs> mm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Uh, you bet I do, or blah, I hate them. You bet I do. Do I? I love fried eggs, love them, but what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic and having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Head! A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down and remember your blood pressure! Hmm? What's that? Um, boom. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy! How? When? Where? Who do such a thing? Beside me! I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so! I will not stand for this. I'm going to report now. I've got to kidnap her back. Oop. 
sound like it's just paper. Uh, but your crunchiness, wait up! I wonder how they'll factor into the story. Uh, but yeah, that's actually going to do it for this episode. Uh, next time on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we're going to see uh, what to do next. We learned about this place called Boggly Woods, so I guess we're going to be heading there. So, fun times. Or maybe we're just going to go around Roport trying out all our new powers. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.